change of pace was in order. I spent the entire day yesterday, well, off and on, getting all the junk out of my screen patio. And so now I'm out here enjoying a nice hot cup of coffee in my screen patio with a bonfire going by the, by the beach. And I don't know if you're picking up on this. Ah, uh, man. I got a roadrunner out there. He's by the chickens. Now, if you do raise chickens, uh, now that I've seen that, do not let a roadrunner buy the baby chicks. They will kill them. And they will take them. Had to deal with those at the ranch. Anyway, the noise I am hearing are the locusts that are emerging. They're going to have a, the 13-year locusts, I believe. I could have this wrong. are coming out in May. And then the 17-year locusts. They're all coming out this year. And I'm going to tell you. Well, this is the way I can spin around, guys. This, this roadrunner. Uh, let's just go out there. See if we can't see what he's up to. He's really close to the Tilly. <laughs> let's just go for a walk. Maybe you can hear these locusts out here. Oh, it's aggravating. What are you doing on that wood? That's not put there for you. I'm going to be real quiet. See if you guys can hear it. You can hear it better. And then we got one back there on the deck. Well, this camera don't move fast enough for the you're walking. See? Stay there, Telly. Waddles is out. Uh, I got to get them some scratch. Oh, I got to, I don't know how long them locusts live, but man, let me set y'all down for a second. See if you can hear that. All right, Waddles. Yes, I'm late. Uh, no, you don't eat bird feed until Millie. Okay. You want to go for a walk? All right. I've got both girls here with me. Let's go for a walk. I have seen a lot of snakes out the last few days. Mostly, I've seen a speckled king snake and a big old uh, rat snake, black snake. Seen them both right here crossing this yard. Oh yeah, I can hear these locusts bad. Well, that's going to be aggravating. It's, I don't know how to describe the sound of it. It's like a Really loud now. What's that noise, Tilly? Let's go back in the screen patio. They seem to all be in the forest. And I don't hear that noise, I, it, but it's getting louder, like they're working their way here. I don't know what's going to happen when they get here. I know they eat vegetation. Maybe they'll eat my grass and I don't have to mow today. Are you going you gonna to eat locust? Tilly. I hope y'all can pick that up. Should be able to. It's a pretty good microphone. All right, let's go back in the screen patio. We've got the mow today. It is getting crazy. Well, look at this, guys. I threw grass seed over here uh, a couple weeks ago in all the bare spots. It's not doing so well in the clay, but it is coming up. But look over here. Wow. I'm trying not to walk on it. 
it's just coming up like crazy and here all right let's go back in here See, i've got most of this cleaned up in here i put the carpet back in i stole the dog's tv don't worry they'll get another one they're gonna get the small one i got all my stuff out and cleaned up gotta do laundry put away my winter stuff all right yeah it is it's, it's like 68 degrees right now it's perfect perfect to be sitting out here uh i'm still toying around with ideas for this room but for now I'm just going to leave it a screen patio but i do want to get a, a permanent door put on there because every time i feed the dogs they jump on that screen so there's no reason to rescreen it they're just going to tear it up uh you know in the future i may just put all windows in here to where i can open them i'll get some type of window i can open them up to still have this same effect but to be more weatherproof and to be more useful of a room during the uh winter because the winters are fairly mild here but we do get some cold temperatures i don't know we'll see what's going to happen all right yeah i'm i'm gonna stick to this format on this channel doing these uh podcast but they're not doing very well yesterday was horrible i thought yesterday's podcast was funny and good i mean I, I thought it was a cool subject you know fun facts maybe it was my thumbnail you you notice i change those often if the video starts out doing bad and sometimes i can reverse that but nothing worked yesterday so i don't know what you guys want okay just do me a favor if you're subscribed Click on it for one minute and then click off, even if you're not interested. That helps us out. But I don't know. It was it may not be that interesting. And just sitting in the same chair every day probably is getting boring, you guys. So I'm gonna probably, you know, since the weather's good, take a walk around, go to different rooms. I got my table back out on the balcony up there, so we can go up there. I don't know. Maybe we'll just do one in the carport with the dogs. Do one in the dog apartment with the dogs. I don't know, but I have been putting up some shorts and let me make this clear about shorts because there's a lot of misconceptions. I don't put up shorts for subscribers. I don't put them up for subscribers entertainment. Yes, you may watch them. You may enjoy them, but I put shorts out to get more people to the channel. And most people do put shorts out to get more people to the channel because shorts, they go to a different feed. Where you can get 10,000 views in one day. And out of that, you might pick up 50 to 100 subscribers. You might lose 25% of them, but you're going to keep the rest. So if you see me putting up shorts, that is the reason why. Especially on the other channel where I haven't done anything in two weeks. And still don't know when I'm going to put anything up on there. But I'll put up some shorts just because if you let a channel set without putting videos out, you're going to lose subscribers every single day. Either YouTube takes them or people are fed up because you ain't putting out a family video every day because you ain't going to see one of them kind of videos on my channels. I ain't doing it. Uh-uh. But anyway, thought I'd make that clear. Videos, people complain. Why do you complain if somebody puts up a short? You just don't have to watch it. You know, when I get on my, my screen, it doesn't force the short on me, Okay. If you're irritated because it's beeping your phone, or turn off the notifications. I have never told people to click the notifications. They irritate me. I turn all notifications off. And then I go to my home page on my, or the subscriber page on my YouTube. And then I can pick and choose what to watch. Nothing is forced on anybody on YouTube. So I don't, don't understand that logic. But I like shorts. And I've got shorts. I got one short that's a year old that's getting 50 views every hour. And has for over a year and it's got me over a thousand subs probably lost a lot of them but hey you know you, like you got to do what you got to do if you don't run a channel you don't understand it's not put up to irritate the subscribers it's put up to get get views not necessarily subscribers but views and new subscribers are good and the channel is always trying to grow and that's all I'm trying to do so you know this channel's tough 
but it's growing you know trying to figure out what people are interested in oh i just want to i just want to pull my hair oh i don't have any more hair i cut it off okay listen to that noise it's hypnotic I'm trying to figure, it's like a machine that you can't shut off, and it's running, all, but they don't do it at night. I hope that's what that is. I've never heard it like that. Never really paid attention, I guess. Anyway, this is getting long, guys, and I'm late putting this up, but I don't have any rules on my channel. You should know that. Thanks for watching. Happy trails.